In today's video, we're gonna be revealing what I've been purchasing for my collection or investment purposes over the past couple of months from America in my Ship My Cards Mail Day. What's going on, guys? Matt here, back again with another video. Let's just get straight into it and go through some cards that I've been purchasing. Uh, there's a lot to get through here, so if you are you know, keen to watch a long video, make sure you grab a coffee and enjoy it. If it's nighttime, grab a tea. Uh, so you're not awake all night, but let's just get started with some slabs. I won't go through any prices or anything like that because there's so much to get to, but if there's anything that you want to know how much I got it for, uh, leave a comment down below or shoot me a message on Insta. And uh, if there's anything memorable, I will say it in terms of their prices, but nothing too big here. It's a lot of volume, more so for the eBay store and for like quick flipping and that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go through it. So Marvin Bagley, I've uh, been getting a lot of slabs. Slabs have dropped down so much. I'll give some of my thoughts on that. Slabs have really dropped. I mean, I was buying them at around 15 bucks uh, almost six months ago and flipping them quite easily for 20 to 25. Uh, I mean, now they've come down to, you know, less than $10. So, I mean, it's crazy how much they've dropped. I wouldn't want to be holding any of these long-term unless they're short printed, but uh, I think it's still an interesting thing that you can kind of look at. So Marvin Bagley, uh, we have Brandon Clark, Optic, Hyper Pink of Nick Claxton. You know, these are all under 10 bucks. Um, Calden Johnson, Prism PSA 9. This one's an actually an, an interesting one here. So Nick Richards, Mojo. So number 25, SGC 10. I got this one for $25. I mean, I've found one thing that does help when you're trying to resell a card, uh, I found on my eBay store, is actually if you have, you know, if it's, if it's more SP, uh, it's actually a little bit easy to sell because you will find a collector out there that might be, you know, let's say someone who collects Nick Richards, they're going to want a Mojo Prism for their collection. So then you have, you know, an SGC 10, number the 25, you can set a relatively high asking price, uh, even though, you know, there are comps there, it's still something that's not going to be found quite easily. So that's a nice one there that I want to show off, even though it's not really a great player. Nick Richards is right there. Uh, we also have Lonzo Ball, uh, Quartzside PSA 9. Okay, this one I overpaid a little bit for, but uh, I mean, I'm a Houston fan, so we finally have some plays to collect. So Kenyon Martin, Purple Ice, number to 175. They boosted it up a little bit, uh, but PSA 9, this one was around 70 bucks. That one's going in my PC as long as he doesn't get traded. Nikhil Alexander Walker, Mosaic PSA 9, would have been about six bucks. All right, so we have a bunch of singles now. So, Tracon Smith. Tracon Smith is a very interesting one, another one for me as well. I actually sell a bunch of him in my eBay store. You can get him relatively cheap on eBay America, but he does get a few targets in the NFL on the Saints. Uh, and with Michael Thomas being injured, he has gone the ball a fair bit. He was injured though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but I've been able to get some cards for, you know, some nice autos that are coming up as well for like five to six bucks and resell them for around 20 to 25 in Australia, which is which is pretty good. So yeah, TJ Hawkinson, number to 149, really great tight end. This see little Robert Williams, one of my one of my favorite players uh, in the NBA. Number to 175, Kenyon Martin for the PC. Zach Wilson, someone I'm trying to get more of as his price has come down a little bit more. Uh, CJ Alby, Cameron Johnson, Jalen Noel, another PC guy. I've got a really nice Jalen Noel coming up. I don't know where it is, but it'll come up soon. Uh, Kira Lewis Jr., Patrick Williams, courtside. Let's see a little. Uh, Chronicles isn't something that will feature heavily. Uh, I mean, numbered Chronicles of cards of, of nice rookies from the 2021 NBA draft class, uh, or 2020 NBA draft class rather, but they're, they're going for a less than five bucks. So I thought it'd be a nice play to kind of have for the eBay store. Emmanuel Quickly is another one here. Uh, Josh Green, Scholar Mays, Nova for the Porzingis. John Noel, Isaac Okora, as he was saying, Chronicles numbered, Josh Green. Let's go through some more singles here. So this is again, as I was going with the Nick Richards, you go for some SP cards. This one is a little bit more pricey at around $40, but I do PC Chemezi Matu, uh, the mojo there. Jerry Judy might have seen a little bit of a boost in his, uh, drop that, in his card prices, thanks to, uh, you know, Russell Wilson being traded to the to the Denver Broncos. The see a little, Jalen Waddle, we have Brandon Ingram. This is another, yeah, like I was saying, Trey Colin Smith. You can, I was getting some of these cards for, Six, seven dollars. They're on card, immaculate. They're beautiful cards, and I find them really quite easy to resell here. So if there's players um, that you think do well in Australia, or you, you find do well in Australia, go ahead and sell them here. Uh, Shea Gillis, Alexander, Troy Brown Jr., Pritchard, Pokashevsky, and Trey Jones, Hyper. All right, so let's get to another lot here. So we have Grant Williams, number to 99, Optic BGS 9. This one was around 20 bucks. This one is probably the biggest steal that I got from this whole shipment. So Jared Allen, Orange Pulsar, number to nine, go to PSA 10. I will put the listing uh, up on the on the screen right now, but basically they spelt Jarrett wrong. They also said it was a cord side. It's not a cord side. They didn't put the numbering on it as well, uh, and it's number to nine. Uh, so yeah, I mean, BGS 9.5 of this sold for around $250. Aussie, 
I bought this PSA 10 for $150 Aussie, so I mean, I'm looking at it at around a triple profit, uh, so around a $400 to $450 card based on comps. It is a pop one card, so I will try to palm it off as quickly as I can because I'm not really a massive Jared Allen person, but uh, it was probably my best buy that I had throughout the whole, um, yeah, throughout the whole shipment. Kevin Knox, Eric Pascal, oh, nothing really notable here. I think those were all around five bucks. All right, let's get into some more cards. So Devontae Graham, I got this, it was one of my later purchases. So the Noir number 10 uh, set, I think I'm up to 25 or 26. Uh, this one was around 60 bucks, so a little bit pricier, but it's Devontae Graham. It was a hard one to find. There's two on eBay right now at around $300, and I'm not paying $300 for Devontae Graham, unfortunately. Uh, Kenyon Martin, number to 88. Uh, this one was around 40 bucks. So again, I like the team color match. It's got a little bit of a print line there, but team color match for Kenyon Martin, and you know I'm a Houston fan again. Killian Hayes, Zeke Naji. Oh, okay, this is the one. So my man Alex, he's one of my longest friends in terms of the, the hobby that I've spoken to. We made a trade. Uh, I gave him Pierre Gasly, number to 70 Sapphire. You might think that's the dumbest thing ever, but he gave me, so, it might have been 550 to $600 cash. So basically right on comps. Uh, and he also threw me in this Noel Black Gold Optic, number to eight, which I know he paid around $80 Aussie for it. So he overpaid a little bit for it, but I think he was prospecting and kind of debating that Gasly would be a, a driver that will make the jump this season or in the future. I'm not an F1 person, so I was happy to make the deal based off that and get a really nice high end cut for Noel, as well as staying liquid as well and getting some cash. So you might think, I might look back at this in time, in like 10 years time, and Gasly's a, a three-time world champion and think, what the hell was I thinking? But uh, I'm willing to take the risk and get a, a high end PC card of a player I really do like in Jalen Noel. So yeah, you might, yeah, very interesting one. Let me know in the comments, you might flame me for that, uh, but I just thought it was interesting. So. Moving on, this one's all from Com C. Uh, so Miles Bridges. Uh, I mean, I had I had had some of these in my inventory for a while. Uh, Miles Bridges certified with Dante Exum. So there's a bunch of the Dante Exums. They were two dollars each. Uh, they're rookies and they're numbered. Eric Gordon Refractor, Sv uh, Gafford. Okay, this one's for PC. So Chandler Parsons. Uh, who took the massive contract from the Dallas Mavericks as well as the Memphis Grizzlies. Wanted to get a rookie order of him being one of my favorite players sort of when I was following the Rockets a little bit earlier, but he obviously left us. Uh, yeah, Eric Gordon, Refractor, Dante Exum, Dante Exum, Dante Exum. There's a few more here uh, that are from, okay, here we go. A few more here from that Com C order. Uh, so we'll flick through them. So we've got some more select. Zeke Naji, Kenyon Martin. Probably my favorite one from the Com C order. I've had this in my inventory for oh, probably almost, not, not a year, but pretty close to it. So number 10, Jared Vanderbilt. I haven't seen any of them pop up on eBay, but that's another one for the Noir set chase. So yeah, really happy with that one with Jared Vanderbilt. It's a really nice patch as well. So yeah, we'll chuck that in. Uh, so we have the DeMar DeRozan Panini, we have Gafford, this Gafford lot was around 12 bucks, had a Buddy Heald lot for around 10 bucks, uh, Tyrese Maxi. I mean, like I said, Chronicles, low end but numbered, and I still paid it $4 for it, so I thought it wasn't too bad, uh, Gogo Batazzi, Joel Alexander, I thought this was an interesting one, the X-Factor, which is numbered 288, it's an iconic set, and I know the Chinese market sort of, you know, love, love their Asian players, I know he's half Chinese, but... Uh, I thought for an iconic set, it was worth the play at around, I think it was $6 to $7. Um, yeah, look at Yi Zhan Lian, Wang Zhizhi, I mean, obviously Yao Ming and all those Chinese players. Look at their card prices, they're ridiculous. So I thought Joe Alexander being half might be worth something. Uh, Okongwu, Okongwu, Zik Naji, Russell Wilson, Hamidou Diallo, Noel, and Trey Jones there. All right, let's hit some more raw stuff now. So RJ Hampton Chronicles, plates and patches, number 249. Uh, Cole Anthony. Josh Jackson, RJ Hampton, Jalen Smith, uh, a player I am going to be heavily targeting in the offseason. I think he's a double-double machine. I don't know which team he ends up on. It could make or break, really, his next year in terms of sports card, his sports card investing sense, but thought it was worth it. Jake Fromm, as a, as a bookie, so this one was around 4 or $5 each. Yeah, they were all 4 or $5 each, I remember that. So RJ Hampton. Uh, I've, I found selectors really dropped. Uh, I know it's it, there's a lot of hate on it, but the numbered selects for some rookies are, are ridiculously cheap. So I thought it, I thought it was just um, worth a little, yeah, something to say really. But uh, Josh, Josh Green, there'll be a lot of Josh Green stuff in here. I'm I'm gonna try and start my own little PC of Josh Green. I think him being Aussie will always help his floor. So 
you know, he might not be a great player, let's say, in the future, but he's still an Aussie, so that will give him a little bit of a boost in his card prices in terms of if you do want to sell him. Jerry Judy, RJ Hampton, Montez Sweat. Let's hit some slabs now. So I got this lot of four Kendrick Nunn, no name, PSA 9 optics. Uh, these were over $24. So, I mean, $6 Aussie each. Surely I could be able to flip it at least double the price. I uh, thought it was worth it. Daniel Gafford, Silver Prism, uh, around $9. have two of them. Taco Fall, so I think I got this one for around $13 or $14, but I do know a Taco Fall collector, and I said to him I would sell it to him at cost price, so um, yeah, shout out to him. I'll give this to him at cost price. Uh, Chuma Akiki, Silver Prism, and Gogo Batazi, Silver Prism as well. So I think those silvers were around $10. Uh, Jalen Noel, Silver Prism was $10 as well. Lowry Markinen. Uh, optic red yellow dylan brooks uh hollow optics almost forgotten about because he's been injured for a fair bit of the season but uh this was was still around 15 bucks uh jackson hayes who actually had a bit of a jump uh landry chamet tricolor select psa 10 this one was 13 bucks i was happy with the psa 10 being there uh, matisse green uh grayson allen so a bit of a funny story with this one i actually own the luca of this in psa 9 I have the Trey, and I'm potentially going to be sending it in, so I might have the big three in Trey Young, Luka Doncic, and Grayson Allen. So keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Josh Agogi, Red Prism to 299 PSA 9. This one was just over 10 bucks as well. Uh, and John Collins, Optic High PSA 9, was 15 bucks. Let's hit it off with two big Aussies here. So I got these in the same night uh, from DC Sports. It was around 10 bucks uh, each. So I thought Thon Mega, BGS 9.5. Uh, a player that you know people thought would have unlimited potential didn't really show out. There's that whole age controversy and everything like that. But you know, BGS number five, an optic purple, ten bucks should be an easy flip. Andrew Bogut, tops rookie, BGS nine again, ten dollars. I mean, yeah, one of Australia's greatest players. Uh, you know, he's quite uh, outspoken, but um, I'm you know, it's a, it's a player that people would love, and like I said, Aussies love collecting their Aussie players. So BGS nine, I'm sure someone would want it for a, a little bit of a, a little bit more of a flip for me. Let's get into some raw cards. Kira Lewis, this one is a nice car, a nice one that I got. Twenty dollars for this Saban Lee gold. Um, it's not, it's, it's straight, it's just a straight up gold. So you also have the gold T-Mall and the gold goldfish, I think, which is, uh, gold, but has a little bit of a, like a different sort of parallel. It's a sort of, it's a different variation, but the golds are worth way more like just the plain golds. So it should be an easy flip. And I remember looking at other players who in the draft class, number 10, and they were going for a bit more. So I felt like I got this one a little bit unders. Uh, Zay Jones, so this one's another, another funny one. Zay Jones has recently uh, signed to the Jaguars for a ridiculous contract. I think it was like three years, 24 million. And for what he's done, I don't think he's worth that much. But I mean, a gold select, can't go away with anything gold. And I got this one for nine bucks. So I was happy with that one. Uh, Christian Kirk, another one who went to the, I think it was the Jaguars at a ridiculous price. Uh, Elijah Hughes, Killers Jr. Is that a mojo? No, it's not. Nick Richards, Zach Moss, Ryan Ensign. That one's for PC. The big three, uh, the third piece of the puzzle for the big three when Houston were actually doing all right with James Harden and Dwight Howard. Uh, Bogdan, Bog, uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich, select PSA 10, uh, just $10 for that. Overpaid a little bit for the Meldons. I do have a couple of Meldons here, but I like I like Melton a lot, and it's a little bit of a side PC for me. But uh, this one was $35, number to 175, PSA 10. Rui, Tyler Hero, Revolution, PSA 9. Got a stuck one here. Okay, Calden Johnson selects. I got a few of these for around $7 each. They're going to be scattered uh, everywhere, but $7 each for those. Cameron Johnson, who's been on fire. Aaron Holiday, now on the Phoenix Suns. Got this one for uh, $10. Rui Hachimura and Rui Hachimura again. Moving on, this beautiful Terry Rozier, red select. So this was another one where I bought it and it had, didn't have the numbering on the listing. And I know red's a number to 149. So... I think I got this one for around 16 bucks, which I thought is underpriced considering Terry Rozier is almost like a 20 point per game scorer uh, and it's a numbered select. So not bad there. Brennan Clark, Green Prism, PSA 9. This one's interesting. Admiral Schofield, White Sparkle. Uh, again, going with the point where I was saying, talking about Nick Richards, uh, even though it's not really a great player, if it's a White Sparkle and it's low pop, people potentially may overpay for it. So I mean, I mean, I paid $21 for it and it's a white sparkle. So short printed to 20 or less apparently. So I thought it was worth the risk. All right, let's go in with a bunch of raw cards. So Devo Samuel, Rondell Moore, Darnell Mooney, D'Anthony Melton. Uh, we've got a bunch of Chronicles there. Goga Batazi, Nick Richards, Isaiah Stewart. 
Rondell Moore, Josh Kelly, Casey Okpala, Darrington Evans, Zeke Najee, Vernon Carey, and Josh Green. Adding to the Josh Green uh, PC, as I was saying, Buddy Hield, uh, Brandon Ingram, this one's numbered to 149, beautiful there. Uh, TJ Warren, the, the Raw, uh, Raw card review, BGS 9.5 with an autograph of 10. I think I was paying, I paid $15 for it, so I mean, if you want to grade it, I don't think it's worth sending it in for $50, but TJ Warren has been kind of MIA for a while. I've uh, got this lot of NFL Prison, num to 149. This one was $15. Number to 149, not really, not really anyone notable, but there's a couple of players that are all right, so uh, not, not one really there, but uh, Irv Smith Jr. is all right. He's currently out with the Achilles. Clayton Thorson's a uh, uh, quarterback, so regardless, should be a relatively solid pick. Uh, Bryce Love, Denzel Ward, solid, and yeah, so Jerome Robinson, we had a bit of a lot there. And, whoop, drop that one. And we had this lot here, uh, the Josh Green, uh, sorry, not a lot. It's this slab here. Uh, Josh Green, Donruss, 9.5, autograph 10. I paid 40 bucks for this. And Cameron Johnson, Optic Hyo, PSA 9. That one was $13. All right, so we have about four boxes left. So we're pushing it on. Jalen Noel, Prism Choice Auto, PSA 9. That was 17 bucks. Landry Chamet, Silver, SGC 9. This one was $7. But annoyingly, there's a crack. It came with a crack. So I've emailed DC Sports, and they, they normally refund me anyways. But... Uh, it does have a bit of a crack, doesn't affect the card. Uh, Luke Kennard, number to 199, PSA 9, was 20 bucks. Harry Giles, one of the top prospects a while back. Uh, Optic, PSA 9, that one was 7 bucks. And the Larry Markin and Donruss, PSA 9, number to 99, this one was $13, but I'd also just realized that it says Jonathan Isaac, which is sort of annoying me. I don't have OCD, but it does annoy me a little bit, and it would annoy me if I was buying it. Uh, Kongwu, uh, Vernon Carey Jr., Trey Jones, Josh Green, Prism Choice Auto, and really nice card there. Pritchard, Miles Gaskin, Tony Bradley, CeeDee Lamb. So, uh, as I was saying in NFL, I actually sell a fair bit in Australia, surprisingly. I didn't, I was, when I first started selling NFL uh, around two and a half years ago in Australia, there wasn't many people that were doing it. Uh, so, I thought it was a bit of a risk selling stuff, but I actually have seen some cards fly out. So, I'm starting to buy a little bit more because I feel like it will cater to the market a little bit more. Got this one for $11. I actually had the, the base version of this, the $3.99, uh, which I bought for $11 as well. And I sold that recently for $30. So uh, it's it's a great flipping opportunity, even though you're kind of selling a little bit over comps because you have people that will, will be willing to pay a little bit over. Uh, Jalen Noel again, Bruno Fernando, Velen Shunas, Doug McDermott, Azabuki, uh, Jalen Smith, Paul Reed, Jay Sean Tate. So... Uh, around 50 bucks for this, Spectra Meta, it's his rookie auto. I don't know if I really want to be... I was kind of having it for the PC, but I'm not really a massive fan of Jay Sean Tate in terms of I don't think he's going to be on the team long term, so I might just sell the card off straight away. Uh, Nasir Little there, the purple optic. Siku Dumboya, uh, number 299 was 4 bucks. I mean, two years ago, that would have probably been about 100, 100, 100 to 150 bucks, but... Seekers just dropped off a cliff. So, Callan Mond, number 15. These are the base ones I was talking about right then with CeeDee Lamb, but this is DeAndre Swift. DeAndre Swift, Jay Sean Tate, Saban Lee, and Saban Lee Auto. Right, so, this, these ones are from Probe Scene in one of their weekly auctions. Uh, this one, the one known to 175, Shea, Spectra PSA 9, was 40 bucks. Calden Johnson, Chinese New Year, SGC 10, was 18 bucks. Jackson Hayes would have been about $7. And we had a bunch of raw cards from them as well. So Josh Hart, I know I just got this for like the starting bid, which was like a dollar. Uh, Nick Richards, number to five again. Nick Richards is the man to go for if you want to find some SP cards of a player really cheap. Number to five. I uh, got it for 30 bucks. So, I mean, surely there's a Nick Richards fan out there that's trying to get the rainbow and probably wants to, uh, wants to pay up for it. So, yeah, Nick Richards there. Jalen Noel and Jalen Noel. Uh, so Green Ice and the Red, number to 299. Uh, these ones are around $8 each. Uh, I've spoken about it in a video, sorry, I'll speak about it again, but Green Ices in Fanatics in Prism, uh, they're short printed to around 100 or less apparently, so if you're looking for a variation that people don't know about that might go under comps, look for the Green Ice. Kira Lewis Jr., I got this one, it's out of 65, I got it for $8, but uh, upon further inspection, I actually realized that it is jersey numbered, so... Uh, eBay one of one, we can chuck it up as $500 and it'll be an easy flip there. Uh, Zeke Naji, Josh Green, Red Eyes, Tracon Smith, Troy Daniels, this one would be for the PC. Actually, these two would be for the PC. Troy Daniels and Omer Arshik, uh, both players who played for Houston. Omer Arshik, we gave the Poison Pill contract to and uh, basically 
allowed Chicago not to get him. So, yeah, uh, Troy Brown Jr., Derek White, Optic, Mo, Mo Wagner. This one was a good buy. So X Factor rookie of Eric Gordon, number two eighty eight. I think this one was around twenty dollars, but I feel like comps were around fifty when I when I saw him. Uh, Troy Brown Jr. Silver, Zeke Naji, my cheap PC from the twenty twenty one NBA draft class. Sorry, the 2020 NBA draft class, uh, and this one was $25 for the, the Purple Prison number to 99. Cullen Mon, Casey Okpala, and Thomas Bryan. All right, up next, we have some PWCC cards coming up. So Mike Gusecki, uh, White, I think this is number to 35, RJA, PSA 9. This one was $35. Bit of a funny story with Mike Gusecki. Uh, he kind of, the Miami Dolphins recently got Tyreek Hill, and obviously they have Tua and Jalen Waddle, and... The Miami Heat, uh, sorry, the Miami Dolphins, or if it was the NFL, posted a graphic and it had the three of them uh, basically just saying that, you know, this is to watch out for. And then Mike Kosicki commented on it saying, you know, where, where was I sort of thing. So I thought that was quite funny. Uh, good on him for having a bit of humor. Bob Ball Courtside Select uh, was 20 bucks. Goga, BGS9 uh, Autograph 10 Variation Auto. That one was just over 15 bucks. This was, again, the PWCC au auction. I'm not really buying on it right now because they've included a buyer's premium on it now, that 20%. So you obviously buy a card and it goes up 20%, which you've got to pay. Uh, Shea Gildas, Alexander Shock Optic, BGS 8.5. That was $10 starting price. BGS 9 of Jaron Jackson. BGS9 of Wendell Carter Jr., who's actually playing relatively well. I think he's averaging 20 and 10 since the All-Star break. So, huge one there. Jaron Jackson, SGC9. Uh, Kobe White, BGS9.5. DeAndre Hunter, Optic, BGS9.5. And, oh, okay, so we're finishing off. So, these are some. These are also Probstein. So, uh, Jalen Smith, someone I said I would be buying the Orange Pulsar, number 13, courtside. Paid $60 for it in a PSA 9. I think it's a good price for it, and I'm happy to hold it as my one high-end card. Uh, you know, number to 13 is a first off the line variant. So, you know, paying that much for, for Jalen Smith. And he's actually had a bit of a jump since then. So I bought it when he wasn't playing as well. So Calvin Johnson, Optic PSA 9, Terrence Mann, and Bruce Brown. This one was 10 bucks. Autograph 10, uh, graded card grade of a nine, Optic Contenders Auto. Can't really go wrong with that, to be honest. All right, two boxes left, and we have a bunch of raw cards here. So Kyle Pitts, XR. Uh, Cole Anthony Chronicles, Sadiq Bay Chronicles, Grayson Allen to 49 Optic. Uh, is that, no, Compazzo, sorry. Chronicles, we have Pratt and Pritchard Chronicles, Denzel Ward to 149, Isaiah Joe, Jalen Smith Scope, Keldon Johnson Optic Mojo, Alexander Madison, uh, Peyton Pritchard again, Eric Pascal to 59, Blue Optic, uh, Jalen Noel Red Ice, Jerry Judy Purple, Callan Mond, Terrence Mann. I thought this was a cool looking card. I got this one for 10 bucks. Uh, it was Johnny Menzel, Teddy Bridgewater, Robert Griffin the third, and Ryan Tannehill. So, uh, yeah, you know. I mean, there's not really anyone here that's super amazing, but I just thought it was quite, sort of iconic with, with Johnny Manziel on it, and then three quarterbacks who were still, I guess, average in their own respect. So, beautiful card there, the jersey. Isaiah Joe to 49, oh, Purple Moose Lake. This one was six bucks. Josh Green, Obsidian. Uh, Keita Bates, Diop. So, I paid just the starting price for this, which was a dollar. The Cosmic, he had that perfect game against the Lakers, which was ridiculous. So, I hope people still remember that when they look for him eventually, if, he, if it does happen again. Uh, Isaiah Joe, White Select, CJ Albee, Zeke Naji, Josh Green to 59. Beautiful team match color there. Uh, yep, that was 20 bucks. Josh Green, Chronicles. Mike White, uh, the guy who was going to save the New York Jets and then ended up not, not really being as good. But, you know, they've obviously got Zach Wilson there, so they've got to prioritize him. Uh, Gogo Bataze to 25, I think. Yep, to 25. And the Seer Little, Isaiah Roby, Robert Williams, Impact. Uh, is that oh, saving? I thought it was Sadiq Bay. Um, Kevin Gale, Golladay, Kamzat. I've heard a lot. I've, I've had a, I've had someone tell me. I got, it was a guy who gave me the Noel as well, uh, Alex. He did, you know, tell me that you know buy Kamzat. I don't even know how to say his name. Honestly, I could be butchering it right now. But buy some nice cards of him. So I bought this, which is a low end Origins card of Chronicles. But uh, I have bought a numbered select card. So keep an eye out for that in the future. SMC ship my cards mail days. Jalen Noel, Okongwu, Melton, uh, Tua, XR, Jalen Smith, Tricolor, Aturu, Josh Green, Jalen Smith, 
Vernon Carey, Van Jefferson, Christian Kirk, Isaac Okora, Isaac Okora Honours, Kenyon Martin Jr. and Josh Green Scope. All right, last box here. So let's run through the last few cards that we do have. We'll go through the raw first. Uh, Jameis Ramsey, Kira Lewis Jr., Kamavinga, this one was 30 bucks, some to 175. Pokashevsky Chronicles, Pokashevsky Recon, Skylar Mays, Optics 99, Zeke Naji, uh, Lynn Bowden Jr., Turu, Paul Reed, DeAndre Aiden, Gafford, this one was starting price, uh, so a dollar, uh, number to 149. Grant Rilla, Skylar Mays, Ronald Jones Jr., Josh Green. As you've seen, there's a lot of Josh Green here, uh, so. You can see what my PC is basically becoming. And we'll finish off with the last few slabs. We'll finish off with the, with the cheapest slab I've purchased sort of in the last... I think it's the cheapest slab I've ever purchased, but yeah, got it for two bucks. It's a Chronicles. So, I mean, there's a high pop can of this, but Kobe White, PSA 9, two bucks. Uh, I'm sure someone will buy it for five bucks. So, double your money there, but uh, I thought that was very interesting. Uh, to, yeah, just something that I wanted to note. But I mean, there's a lot of like $1 slabs that I've found on eBay USA going, out, or going around. So if you've had any luck, let me know in the comments buying any really cheap slabs. And yeah, I really feel for those who sent, you know, a heavy amount of, of base to PSA. So Kobe White select BGS 9.5. Malachi Flynn. This one was 10 bucks, And then he had that run of games which boosted his sort of prices up. He's not really playing again, so I'll probably just sell it. It should be able to make a flip with this one, but absolute number to 75, graded at SGC 9.5. Uh, got it for $10, which I was quite lucky about. Jay Sean Tate, Chronicles XR, more for the PC, but again, not sure where I'm kind of feeling about uh, Jay Sean Tate long-term on the Houston Rockets. Uh, yeah, XR, this one was 15 bucks. And we'll finish off with Svi, Choice Red, a number to 88, PSA 10, this one was 15 bucks. And the very last card, Jaron Jackson Jr., Red Prism to 2.99, graded a PSA 9, 90 bucks for this one. So Jaron, uh, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to say it. I was very disappointed with him at the start of the season. Uh, I think I was expecting him to be like a 20 and 10 player, but I've realised that his game's a bit more, a bit more than that in terms of his defensive uh, output. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm a massive fan of his. Uh, but yeah, I kind of thought he would be a bit more of a shooter in, in terms of like, sorry, a bit more offensive. Uh, but you've got Jar Morant, you've got Desmond Bain on that team. You've got Dylan Brooks as well, who can average 20 points per game. So uh, he's, he's playing his role, and I don't mind him. And he's a sneaky play for the Defensive Player of the Year. I don't think he'll get it, but yeah, an interesting one there. So yeah, thank you for making it to the end of the mail day. Make sure you do hit the like button and hit subscribe if you enjoy the sports card content. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of my purchases and you know what you've been buying from America because there's been some good stuff coming along. I do have some more cards that have started to hit shit my cards again, so I will post that up when I do get it in here for uh, in the future. Uh, but yeah, I really do appreciate it, guys. So make sure you guys enjoy the rest of your days and I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care. <laughs>